this tutorial we are going to learn about container loading problem using greedy method so first of all we are going to see what is container loading problem so a large ship is to be loaded with cargo the, the cargo is containerized and all containers are the same size so cargo is contained Narized and all containers are same size. So here what we are going to do is we are going to take the cargo capacity C based on the greedy concept. We are going to load the ship with the maximum number of containers. So we here every time we have to check one constraint. Whenever the container is loaded, so that time we have to check one constraint. The constraint is called summation i is equal to 1 to n w i x i less than c. So the C is called as capacity of the cargo. So here the WI, WI is called as car, uh, the container's weight. XI is called as if the container is loaded, then XI is said to be 1. If the container is not loaded, then the XI is 0. So these things you have to remember in your mind. Here the main condition is this is or equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n w i x i less than or equal to c. So here now we are going to uh, solve the problem. So here the cargo contains 8 containers. We are going to take the cargo contains 8 containers. So the 8 containers Weights are said to be W1, W2, W3, W4, W5, W6, W7, W8. The weight values are 100, 200, 50, 90, 150, 50, 20, 80. So these are the corresponding weight values. Now the capacity of the cargo they have given us 400. So now we what we have to do is so these are the containers weight. We have to load the containers into the ship. So the cargo is containerized. So the cargo capacity they have given that is 400. So whenever the container is loaded into the shape, you have to check this condition. So that weight, that container's weight should not be exceeded with this cargo weight. So this is the constraint. So now the first step what we have to do is we have to arrange the containers in ascending order. If you arrange the weights in ascending order, we will get the set like this. So here the smallest weight is 20, then 50, again 150 is there, 80, 90, 100, 150, then 200. So 11. Comma, then 50 is 3, comma, again 50 is 6, comma, 8, comma, 4, comma, 1, comma, 5, comma, 2. Just like that we have arranged. Now what we have to do is we have to take the minimum weight containers and load the container into the cargo. So here the minimum weight container is 20. So, so initially the solution sector becomes 0, 0, 0. Totally 8 are there. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the solution set. We have to take like the solution set. 
So in stage one, what we are to do is the container seven. This container is loaded into the cargo. So whose weight is twenty? Now check the constraint. We have to check the constraint. So the constraint is um, we have to uh, load this twenty. Into if the container is loaded, its size becomes one. So twenty into one less or equal to what is the cargo weight? Four hundred. Now the condition is satisfied. So the container seven is loaded into the cargo. So now our solution set becomes becomes. So here zero 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 zero. Zero zero. Now seventh one becomes one. Eight one becomes zero. So like that we have to change the solution set. So this is the first condition. So then the second condition is in stage two what we have to do is the container the second container that is container three is loaded into the car. So the container number three is loaded into the cargo. So what will happen if it is loaded? So here, what will happen is twenty already. The weight is twenty is there. So along with that weight, you have to add this weight. So the weight is fifty. So this, if this container number three is loaded, then the x i value becomes one. So one into fifty is fifty only. Less than or equal to four hundred, which belongs to, uh, which implies seventy less than or equal to. The constraint is satisfied. So the container four three, the container number three is loaded into the cargo. Now the solution set becomes zero zero one zero zero. Zero one zero. So now the third step. So in stage, this is stage one. This is stage two. Now stage three. So in stage three, what will happen is we have to take the third cut. That is uh, the container number six. We are going to load this one. If before going to load this container into the car. We have to check the constraint. So already we have seventy. Along with that seventy, you have to add this fifty less than or equal to four hundred, which implies one twenty less than or equal to four. Condition is satisfied. Now the container number six is loaded into the cargo. So the solution becomes the sixth value becomes one. Zero. Now stage four. So in stage four, what will happen is we are going to load the container number eight. So whose weight is eighty? So we are going to add this weight along with this previous weight that is one twenty. That's now equal to four hundred. So the answer is two hundred. Two hundred less than or equal to four hundred. Condition is at constraint is satisfied. Now our solution set becomes so container number is eight. So the eighth value becomes one. So now stage five. So during the stage five, what we have to do is we have to load the container number four. So container number four. Weight value was ninety. Previously, we have added the cargo weight two hundred. Along with the two hundred, we are going to add this ninety. Two hundred plus ninety less than or equal to four hundred, which implies two hundred and ninety less than or equal to four hundred. So now, what will happen is this here also condition constraint is satisfied. So the solution set becomes here. The container number four we have loaded, so zero zero one. The fourth value becomes one zero one one one. So now the next stage six. During the stage six, what the container number one is loaded. 
So the one once the weight is hundred. So here previous weight is two hundred and ninety. Along with that one, we are going to add the container number one's weight that is hundred. Let's now equal to four hundred. So now. 390 let's not equal to 400 now the constraint is satisfied the container number one is loaded in into the cargo so now the solution set becomes so here one 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 of the value becomes one zero one one zero one one so now the stage at during the stage seven we have to load the next cargo next cargo is a uh, next container the next containers number is five container number if you add the container number five what will happen we are going to see so previously the weight is 390 along with that one container number five's weight is 150 so let's not equal to 400 so what if you add these two you'll be getting 540 let's not equal to 400 now the condition is not satisfied satisfied so we cannot add this container number five into the cargo so this step we can this step is limited because we cannot add this container number five the capacity of the cargo is 400 only now the cargo's capacity is exceeded so we are not going to do this one the final solution set is this one here car containers we are going to load inside the cargo is container number seven then container number container number three then container number six eight four one so these six containers are loaded into the cargo